Hi everyone. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully functional creepy game where a ghost catches candy in a spooky setting. Perfect for beginners. Let's dive right in. To get started, we need some spine chilling backdrop. I have already downloaded 5 spooky Halloween themed backdrops that I will upload to Scratch. But you can find any creepy images you like online. Here's how you upload them. Click on choose a backdrop in Scratch. Then click on the upload button and select the 5 backdrops from your computer. Now you have got your backdrops ready to set the scene for the game. Feel free to customize your backdrops. You can also draw your own in Scratch or use the one in the library. Next, we need our player character. Since this is a spooky game, I am going with a ghost sprite, but feel free to choose any creepy character you like. Head over to choose a sprite. You can either select from the scratch library or upload your own custom sprite like I am doing here. Now let's shrink it down to a size that fits the game. I will set the ghost size to 100. Now we need something for our ghost to collect. How about some candy? I will upload a custom candy sprite from my computer, but you can use any sprite from the scratch library. To resize it for the game, I will shrink the candy sprite down to 15%. To make the game more interesting, we will add a game over screen for when the game ends. I have already downloaded a spooky game over image. You can either upload one or make your own right in the scratch. Let's move on to the coding to bring all these elements to life. We will start by hiding the game over sprite since we don't want it to show until the game ends. Select the game over sprite, go to events and drag in the when green flag click block. Now go to looks and grab a hide block. Put it under the green flag click block. Now the game over sprite will be hidden when the game starts. Next, let's make our spooky ghost move with the player's mouse. This makes the game super fun because it feels like you are the ghost. Select the ghost sprite. In events, get a when green flag click block. Then go to control and drag in a forever block. Inside the forever block, add a go to mouse pointer block from the motion section. Now whenever you move your mouse, your ghost will follow you. Spooky, right? Now let's make the candy appear randomly. And when the ghost catches it, it will disappear and reappear somewhere else. Select the candy sprite, go to events and drag a when green flag click block. Add a forever block under it from the control category. Inside the forever block, add an if then block from control. Then go to sensing and get the touching block. Choosing the ghost sprite from the drop down. Inside the condition, add a hide block from the looks category and a wait 0.5 second block from the control category. Now get a random position block from the motion. Finally, add a show block. Now, whenever the ghost catches a candy, it disappears for half a second and reappears somewhere else. Let's add a spooky sound whenever the ghost catches a candy. Go to the sounds tab, click on choose a sound, select the whacking section and I will choose the bite sound. Go back to code and add a play sound until done block from the sounds category. Choose the new sound you just added. Now every time you collect candy, it plays a spooky sound. What's a game without a score, right? 
let's add a score system to track how much candy the ghost collects go to variables and make a new variable called score now get this block set the score to 0 under the when green flag clicked block so whenever the game start the score will be 0 inside the candies if then block change score by one block from variables now every time the ghost catches candy your score increases by 1 Let's make the game even spookier by switching backdrops during gameplay and adding a timer to make the game last 30 seconds. Select the backdrops, get a when green flag clicked block. Now go to looks and get a switch backdrop to choose your first backdrop you want. Then use a repeat 5 block and inside it add a wait 6 seconds block from the control category now go to looks and get a next backdrop block under it finally add a broadcast block from the events category and create a new message name it game over now get a stop all block from the control category This will make the backdrops change every 6 seconds for a total of 30 seconds after which the game will end. Now we will make the game over sprite appear after the timer ends and display the final score. Select the game over sprite. Get a when i receive game over block from the events category. Now get a show block from the looks category now we want to hide ghost and candy surprises when the game is over for this select your ghost surprise and get a when i receive game over block from the control category and get a hide block from the looks category under it now when the game is over our ghost will be hidden select your candy surprise get a when i receive game over block and under it we need a hide block now our ghost and candy sprites will be hidden when the game will be over to show the final score go to variables and create a new variable name it your score get a when i receive game over block from the events category place this block set the score to block under it now get your score variable and put it right into it now when the game is over the player's final score will display on the game over screen but the problem here is that this is displaying every time even when the game is not over to hide it get a when green flag click block now go to variables and get this hide the your score block now it will be hidden when the game starts now get a show variable block and put it under the when i receive game over now this only show us when the game is over and there you have it a spooky halloween candy catching game in scratch you can now play as a ghost catch candy and see your score at the end you can also add your own twist like bonus points more levels or even more spooky characters don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel for more fun coding tutorials and let me know in the comments how you customize your game see you in the next video